Hi, welcome to JotForm. Today I'm going to show you how to set up a configurable list widget with JotForm. So follow me to my desktop right now. All right, this is JotForm's dashboard and it's super easy to set up a configurable list widget. So let's get started with a brand new form. So let's go ahead and click on create a form. In this case, we're going to set one from scratch, classic form. And here is our builder. So let's go ahead and just drop in the basic fields, which would be a name, email, and let's go search for the configurable widget list widget. Okay. So go ahead and click on widgets, search for configurable. Let's drag and drop configurable list widget. And now we have it available. Now, before I show you how to set up, um, it's really important that you know how list widget works. It's really good because it keeps your form contact compact. Plus it lets you add more fields really easily. So let me show you how this preview form looks like. And here is the list widget. So for example, let's just say you are asking information for each family member. So that's just an example. It's for example, it could be his name, the drop down, the calendar time, and you would select another one if you like, for example, add as many as you would need. Now you can limit how many rows you would like to let them add, or you can limit, you can add more by default if you want. So let me remove this right here. So it starts off at one because that's how we have it. Minimal roles numbers is one maximum role number. You can say, you know what? Um, no one's going to have more than, I don't know, 10 rows, depending on what you're going to do. Maybe it's a sign up form for a concert or something like that. And you can only invite three people, for example, then you would have a limit of three, the label to add and to remove one of these forms. Now by default, it has a plus, but you could say, I don't know, add, and that would change to add right there. So let's just keep it for plus right now. And to set up these fields to customize them to your liking, it's it's fairly easy because I'm going to show you how. So these are the field configuration. And to get started really quickly, I recommend you jump into click here because it's going to give you all the field types that are available. So for example, you have the examples right here and we can actually use them to modify them and start using your configurable list widget. So let's get rid of these right here just to show you how those examples work. So let's just say you want to add the text field. We have an example right here. We could just grab this and we can paste it in here and you would hit enter to start a new row. Now, if you wanted to configure this one, for example, it says name, that's the title text would be the type of field and enter your name would be what's inside of the field. We can edit these if we want. For example, it could be full name. Okay. Let's add a another list right here. Let's say numbers. This is a number field right here. So for example, it's asking for the age. That's a good one. We'll keep it like that. Let's go to the next one, which is text area. So let's grab this and paste it. I forgot to add this. Didn't copy that. Okay. Now it's added. If they want to add a text area right here, they want to add something manually for a comment or something that you want to leave there. We can add a drop down. All right. Oops. Sorry. Okay, let's add this one right here. Now by default it says fruits, we could change something like, for example, status, and it could be, for example, married, single, um, it could be something like won't say or private. Okay, and let's get this, this one because it's a default one. And now, now we have a status field available with drop down. You can see how easy that was to actually modify. So let's go with the radio one. Let's copy this one and put it in here. Now this one says by default, accept terms. It could be something else like um, opt in for like a form and you can say yes or no, or would you like to pay something? Yes or no. And keep that as the terms. Now let's get rid of some of these so we don't take up a lot of space. All right, and let's go to the next type of field, which is the checkbox. So let's grab this payment one. Okay, let's paste it. And this is a payment. It's asking, it's a checkbox, but you could use it for something else and full or partial. Let's go to the next field, which is the date. Let's copy and paste this. All right. So for example, it could be the date that the person is attending and you could have several fields for different type of people and change the date. Now, if you want to configure this, it's by default, it's month, date, year. But if your country uses it in another way, for example, day, month, year, well, you could just switch these letters right here and that will configure it. And there's a setting right here for the years that they, it will be available. 
for example, you can say 2022 and maybe you're using the, using this for support. Well, 2014 will be okay. But let's just say your company started 2018 and that's when your support started. So basically no one's gonna have a support ticket for a year before that. These are just examples, okay? Next field we have is the time. Let's grab this, let's paste it. And we have the time available. Let's remove some of these so they don't take up a lot of space. Okay, here's the time and it's grabbing by variable now. Okay, so the time that's right now. Next field and last one is the important message. This one is, grab that, is a message that's a static message that you can view right here. So it's important message, you can view there, which this one just says click on the plus button to add a new row, okay? And that's the message that it added. Now, basically that is how you configure the list widget, which is really easy to do, and you can modify it by using the help document that's available already on JotForm. Well, there you go. That is how you configure your configurable list widget with JotForm. Thank you for watching. My name's George, and bye-bye.